Hi, this is Denise with buildwealthwithme.com and I want to show you how you can add gradient colors to your Systeme IO funnel or website. So if you're creating a funnel on a website and you just don't want to use the traditional colors, solid colors, there is a way that you can add gradient colors to your website. So I am going to add a gradient color and I decided to place it in the background here um in this section so to get the coding for my gradient colors i like to use css gradient generator okay i will post the link in the description below so you can have access to it it's free and you can generate um, gradient colors the codes for your gradient colors here they also have some pre-built um, examples here and for this website you can see that this blue color matches it perfectly which is what i'm going to use but i want to show you if you want to kind of create your own uh what you need to do is very simple if you click here on the start color you can just select any color you know um right from this box so if you already know the hex code that you want to use you can just type it in right there so that's the first color. So let's say you do want to do, um, let's keep this. You want, maybe want to do um, pink and blue, okay? So here you can see that it starts off with pink and then it kind of ends off with blue. You can actually move this around if you want more, you know, if you want kind of like an even amount of pink with an even amount of blue, uh, you see here that, if I set it at 50%, 49%, you see how the blue is kind of taking over as I decide to just move, position it to a lower percentage. Um, if you want to see more of the blue, maybe you can do like 65%, and it kind of shows more of the pink and the blue, a good um, percentage of it. Actually, that looks really good. Um, you can also flip-flop it if you want, let's say, the blue to be first and then the pink, transition to pink, so then you can change it to left. If you want a top, bottom, so at the top it's showing the blue, and then at the bottom it transitions to the pink, you can do that. I like to use the left-right. So that's the color. And again, you can just click on the color and select, you know, different colors. You can create as many as you want. Okay. So in this case, I am going to use the, the blue that I mentioned that I will keep. And I'm going to make it... Yeah, because I want a good combination of the light and the darker blue, okay? And then this is the code that it auto-generates. And that's the code that I want to copy for Systeme IO to be able to use it. So I'm going to go back to Systeme IO, and I said I want to hear in this background. So what I need to do is get the attribute ID of this background, okay? But first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this raw HTML because that's what I need in order to add the code. And you see it says Systeme.io. I think they do that. Um, don't worry about this HTML lettering that it shows. That thing, that is the here only in the editor. When you publish, it goes away. It doesn't display in your page. So I think they do that so you can see exactly where you pasted the code so it's easier to be found. So I click on it so I can edit the code and you wanna take that out because you don't want that to be shown in your website. And I'm going to type the code, which I will provide you to at the description below. So you wanna type style. Okay, once you do the open bracket style, it does close it for you. And then I'm going to do enter and I'm going to add this hashtag, okay? It's a placeholder for me. I will be back for it, but you will see why shortly. 
And then I have to add these brackets, okay? And when you enter, it does the open and the close. Once you open it, uh, System IO, when you enter it, it closes it. And here's where I want to paste that code from CSS portal, okay? For now, I'm gonna save it because I have to come back. And I wanna get the section uh, ID attribute. I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna scroll down and you wanna find this ID attribute at the bottom and you wanna copy this, okay? Then you wanna click again to the raw HTML and edit the code and you're going to paste that what you just copied right next to the hashtag and you wanna save it. So now you see your color has changed for your page. Now let's say um, that I changed my mind. I don't really like it. I said, oh, it would be really cool if I just kept it white and I just changed this box here instead of this dark blue, let's change it, okay? So you can do it two ways. You can drag this over down to this section here. So now my code moved down here, okay? If you if that's too difficult for you, you can just delete it and just drag again the raw HTML, but no sense, it's already here. And what I like about doing that is because it already has the code here, but notice it hasn't changed. It hasn't changed because no matter where you place this at, it's still coded for the section because that's the ID attribute that is attached to it. If I wanna change it, I'm gonna go to the raw, click on the, the row, this row, because this is where I want it. So I'm gonna click on it so I can get the ID attribute for that row, which is right here. And I'm just gonna simply copy it. And then I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna go to that raw HTML and I'm gonna change the code now. I don't want this section, I changed my mind. I want the row and I'm gonna paste the ID attribute for that row and save. As you can see now, it moved it over. So now I see that it was added um, and moved over where I want it. So I hope this video helps. Um, just save it for yourself, but this is a cool way to kind of add variety to your website and um, in lieu of just adding solid colors. Hope that was useful. Leave any questions and comments below and I do get back to your questions.